I am so excited this week to have VIP guests on my podcast today. This month, the theme of the month is community. And when I think about community, all these beautiful ladies that are in front of me come to my mind. You all know, because I have shared in the podcast, the journey that I've been through the Unleash Her Power Within program. And this program not only has helped me to learn a lot about myself and learn a lot about reinvention and how to connect with my true self, but it has also allowed me to find my tribe, a community that I love and I adore and has given me the opportunity to meet amazing women all over the world that are joining me today. So welcome, girls. Hi. Hi. <laughs> No. So excited to be talking to you today, to have you here. And I think the best way to start is that if everyone can just introduce themselves a little bit for the listeners of the podcast and share something about yourself. And then we'll just have a chat like we always do, um, you know, regardless of this being a podcast. Okay, I'll go first. Um, my name is Cynthia, Cynthia A. As you can hear, I live in New York. <laughs> um, I have, I am part of the Tony Robbins world, um, part of UHPW, which is how I think how we all come together and have been on this journey, um, for a little over two years. And, um, I live with my big dog who is out getting groomed. And I am in fashion licensing. So that is my, that is the job that pays my bills. Well, I guess I'll go next because I'm Cynthia F. <laughs> um, so I am originally from New York. I live in Los Angeles now. Um, I have two dogs. And, um, I just got a puppy this year. He's like the cutest thing ever. I love him. And um, in terms of my job, um, I have a branding and strategy consulting firm. And then I also am getting ready to launch a new company, the 90 Day Blueprint, which I'm super excited about. Um, and I'm, you know, I'm also involved in the Tony Robbins world. I got involved in Tony Robbins world back my first activity was the beginning of 2020. I did the breakthrough challenge and won tickets through it to the UPW and then was picked for the journey squad. And that's how I kind of found out about UHPW and that's what landed me here. Beautiful. Okay, I'll go next then. Uh, I'm Natalia Z. <laughs> uh, I am from Poland. I have I, I'm living right now in Krakow, but I have been raised in Norway. Uh, so I have been a little bit all over the places. Uh, and me the same as actually you both Cynthia's. Uh, I started my journey with Tony Robbins two years ago. I've known about him for like many years, but this intense journey began uh, two years ago. And um, I just uh, finished my work in corporation world. Uh, and it is because of Unleash Her Power Within. So I'm super excited about that. Uh, and I'm just on my own way right now. And I'm so, so happy to be here. So, so happy to be with uh, you beautiful ladies. Awesome. All right, so I'll go last. I'm Natalia P. And I'm out in Brooklyn, New York. So I sell residential sales out here. I've been in the industry for about five years now. I have a five-year-old daughter, which I love to death. She's my world. Um, she's actually a large part of why I joined the Tony Robbins community. Um, just to, I didn't really know what he was about, but when I started the challenge back in January, um, I felt like I was meant to be there because right now my biggest goal was to focus on self-development um, and surround myself with people that can encourage me, inspire me, that I can inspire them. And since then, I've met, of course, you lovely ladies, 
and I still want to continue my journey. So that's where I'm at this year. Love it. Love it. And I think that the beautiful thing about this is that if it wasn't for the Tony Robbins world, the UHPW, UPW, none of us would have met probably. So true. Because right. our careers are so different. Our backgrounds are so different. We live all over the world. And these this community is what brought us together. And how amazing is that? Yeah. Well, you know, interesting enough, I probably will add I probably would not be in the Tony Robbins world if it wasn't for the pandemic. Mm-hmm. That yeah, I that I believe 150%. You know, it was going through being in complete lockdown and being in the fashion industry. And it was the first time the fashion industry shut down completely. Like, how do you shut down? And yeah. being furloughed and just being in a very toxic environment. And then randomly on Facebook and I see that there is this free challenge and it was like hook, line and sinker. Yeah. That's how, that's how that's I land. Actually exactly what happened to me. And it just so happened that it was the beginning of the pandemic and my business, I got, I had eight clients at the time and all eight clients called me the very same day and all like told me like, we can't work with you anymore. So I literally lost my entire business in one day. And that same day was the day that I saw an ad on Facebook for the breakthrough through challenge. And I thought, well, why the hell not? <laughs> like, I, I was like, you know, so I went through that and I basically took the principles that they taught and then started thinking from a mindset perspective about thinking from an abundance perspective of, okay, like how can I pivot? How can I turn this into an opportunity? And I ended up changing my entire business model and then going from like zero clients to building like a seven figure business in one year um, Mm -hmm. from the breakthrough challenge. And then because of that, and then on top of it, I lost 45 pounds through like, because I applied the same principles into like, like that into the new like health and nutrition area of my life too. And so that's what, how I ended up getting the free tickets because then they did this like a year later, you know how like Tony always likes to like have these like things they don't tell you about. And like, they had this thing like a year later there, they went into the Facebook group and they're like, oh, make a video and show us how you've applied these, these principles. And so I did. And then KK like made this whole big commercial. I'll have to send it to you guys where she's like, I love it. Yeah. It was really like blooms, all this kind of stuff. And I was like, Oh my God, this is nuts. And then I got free tickets um, to UPW. And that's how I met you guys. You have to share that with us. Yeah. It's pretty cool. It was pretty neat. It, it, I, it was, it was really nuts. Cause I've got people from all over the world, like texting me on my Facebook thing. I'm like, what is going on? And then I like saw that like KK had made this video about me. It was crazy. It was fun. Awesome. Yeah. It we was need neat. to see this video for sure. <laughs> pretty cool. I know. I'll, my desktop. <laughs> I'll, I'll send it to you guys. I love it. Yeah. I love it. So community, I think we all got into this by accident. I don't think it was, you know, intentional at the beginning, we came through this community, we became part of it. And then we start to discover that it was so much more than just the teachings and the trainings and the free challenges, but it was about community. So I want to ask you all, what, what is for you community? What does it mean? And what has, what does it add to your life to be part of a community like our UHPW community. Yeah, I mean, I guess I'll go first. I, you know, I was thinking about this idea of community. And for me, I think I've always been a workaholic. And so it's an area of my life that I had always wanted to have like a rich community and like deep friendships. Um, but because I was always so busy with work and so laser focused on it, it wasn't an area that I ever really focused on. And so the people that I had in my, like, I was, I've always been into self-development and always really working on myself, but the people, and as I've sort of grown and become, um, more in touch with myself, 
and more aware um, I've kind of noted, like I've kind of outgrew a lot of the people because a lot of the people I had relationships with were either through work or through something like that, because I was always so work focused. And so got like getting involved, for example, in the UHPW group to me was such a beautiful thing because I was able to connect with women that were like on the same journey as me and at the same level. And it made me realize that, you know, I ended up really cleaning house because I had a lot of people in my life that were, um, you know, I'm always somebody that like gives too much that like, um, you know, um, so I had a lot of people that were takers, but they weren't necessarily like people that were like, like if I needed something, they weren't there for me. So, you know, it got me thinking like, you know what, like sometimes it's better just to like clean house and start over to allow space in your life to be able to connect with people because like you know like like I feel like the people in your life are a mirror of where you're at and I feel like one of the things that I love about the UHPW group is like I actually really feel that that like ladies like yourselves like it's like a mirror of where I'm at in my life like people that are working on themselves that are that are good friends that will check up on you like those are the types of people I want in my life so I went through this big transformation in that area of my life where I really kind of cleaned house. And Natalia P, you had posted something the other day that really hit me on Facebook where you were talking about, like, you can't have expectations of other people, but you can have like standards for yourself. And I think one of the areas like I've gotten disappointed with friendships is I always had like expectations for like girlfriends. Like I've always like wanted them I've always had high expectations and then I would get disappointed. And like, I think this year is where I flipped it or now I just kind of have been more focused on how can I show up and be the best version of myself and worrying less about like, and having expectations on other people. And I feel like when, when you're able to kind of come from a place of like service and really making sure you show up as the best version of yourself, but still have standards for myself where I like look around and there are certain people I know that aren't worth being in my life, you know, like that it's really sort of changed where it's opened my, my circle up and my time up to be more available, to be able to meet ladies like yourselves of high value. So I don't know, like that's kind of. I can agree with a lot of what you said um, for myself as well. I feel like I always wanted like a community or people that I could connect with. And like, to me, it would be people that inspire me, but I inspire them. People I can talk to and like, we can mastermind, we can, you know, bounce ideas off each other. We don't necessarily have to be in the same field, but I think like what we did with UHPW, we're all working in different fields or different areas, but what we do in one area, somebody else can still use for another area of their life or profession or whatever the case is. So for me, um, I started off in the hair industry really young. I was in a salon before I graduated high school. I did really well. I started managing within a few years. So I was behind the chair managing the salon. Everybody in that industry was young, like about my age or younger. So for me, because I was able to build up some momentum, like momentum fast and become successful fast, I felt the same way. Like nobody... I didn't have a circle around me that was like at that same level. Right. So I felt like for a long time, it kind of held me back or I guess I would not live up to my standards. Mm -hmm. I would get comfortable with the people that were surrounding me. Yes. And, and like, I looked, and then there was a certain time when I cut that shit out and it was just kind of lonely because I didn't have anybody. I was you know, focusing on work, if I traveled it, if I did stuff, it was mostly by myself. But I think at the end of the day, like, I still wanted to find that. And, and like, here I am 38. And I feel like I finally found it. Um, yeah, even be well, even when I started real estate, I started to um, become closer to more people that had the same mindset, the same focus, you know, were trying to hit certain goals and things that I wanted. Um, but then again, now I have a child. So like I do a lot of stuff with my child too. So right now I'm at the point where I'm trying to balance it all, where I can still have my own circle, my own adult circle of people and still have my child one and like try to mix it all together with the parenting stuff um, and make it work from there. Yeah. 
I, I totally I love something that you said, Natalia, and I think you mentioned it as well. I think that the two things come to my mind. One is one thing that we keep we have heard from Tony many times, like drop your expectations and replace them with replace them with appreciation. And I've seen a lot of that in this community. Like coming into the community without having an expectation, because at least for me, when I joined, I joined for the training part of it. I had no idea about the whole community thing, which is what is has kept me here and why I did a second round of the program. It wasn't the teachings, of course, the teachings, but the thing that keeps me coming is the community. And yeah. for the first time, I've been able to drop any expectations, right? And just go with the flow of the community and uh, be appreciative of the different perspectives, the, the, the different experiences. And I also relate to you, Natalia, on when you have circles around work or around kids or around whatever, and you keep growing and other people are not in the same path of personal development. And then all of a sudden you feel that you have to lower your own expectations to match the expectations of those around you. And I feel when you find that community that connects with who you are in an essence and where you are, but also where you're going, you don't have to do that. Like there's not such thing as expectations. You can let go of them. And, and there's so much freedom in, in that, at least for me, because I'm the kind of person that always has very high expectations of, first of all, of myself, but then everyone around me. So this being a space where I haven't had to have expectations and it feels weird, but it feels so empowering and so free. Mm. Beautiful. I also feel like it's nice to have a community that, um, I don't know, I guess there have been ideas or things that I've thought of before and I could say it to one person and it's almost like they criticize it or they think it's crazy or impossible versus going into a setting like this where we could probably talk about certain goals and things and we probably are saying like, yes, go for it, do it. Like, just, yeah. you know, trust yourself. You know what I mean? And that's what I want as well. Like, I don't want somebody to, you know, tell me I'm crazy because I have this crazy impossible dream or like this huge dream. Like I want those people to tell me, yes, you can, you can. It hasn't been done before, but you're probably going to be the first person to get it done. Yeah, I totally but agree. also are not afraid of giving you honest feedback. Like right. I'm so appreciative of many of you, but Cynthia, A, I'm going to call on you because I was struggling a few weeks ago with something and Cynthia just gave me this beautiful feedback, which was 100% true. And I'm like, it's not only about you can do it, but it's also giving you that valuable feedback right on. I don't think you're looking at this from the right perspective or mm -hmm. you're missing the point here, right? Or and, and that is so valuable. I, mean, I totally like, agree. To be honest, like for me, community, and when I listen to, to Cynthia and, and Natalia and, and take your take on community, for me, it's completely different. It's complete. For me, community is such on a deeper level because yeah. to, to be in a community, you literally have to be super active in it. And where... I am, I have built friendships where, and, and you know, Natalia Z can attest like, and she's one of them. It's like, I, I have organically have chose, I have my chosen family. I had girlfriends to um, UHPW alumni who flew in from Europe this past March and stayed with me for 10 days. And we did UPW together. We rented an Airbnb and had the most amazing time. I'm flying to Austria at the end of this month to meet up with one, a new alumni who I haven't met in person, but we FaceTime several times a week. And then one of the ones who was here in New York, she's flying from Manchester to meet us in Austria. So for me, community is friendships, like really like a, like a true sisterhood. And it's where you, you hold space for each other. 
And, yeah. and, and I've learned it so much more in this round more than ever that it's just, it's connecting to people's heart and connecting to what they're saying. Here's the thing, because we're so caught up on listening in our head, we're programmed to start when someone asks us a question, we answer, we're already thinking about how we're going to respond. But to literally hold space and listen to what they say and like feel like from their heart is a game changer. And like there are times where I'm answering posts on the, on, in the group and I'll break it down. I'll read things two or three times and read between the lines. And that's how I can like kind of like get them to actually start thinking about like, oh, oh my God, like you nailed it. Like, and I'll get a message, a DM from some of the members like, oh my God, thank you so much. Like this was a game changer. So for me, it's just, it's that connection and where it's being like, I can sit, I can sit in a room. Okay. There's 1100 people that are doing UHPW and they're part of the program. Let's be honest. How many of them are we going to stay in touch with after this program ends? Right. I take it on a whole different level. And it's just like, I, you know, I find my tribe and it's almost like it just happens organically. It literally hope it happens organically. It's like, we just, it's, it's me being super active in the group. It's me responding. It's me holding space. And then just recently creating this whole weekly zoom where it's minimum of 50 people who should have shown up on a week to week basis. And it's holding that space where it's almost like I'm being inspired. And like, it's, it's changed how I looked at my friendships and what's important to me now. And it's, to me, it's these, these women and just being there for them because we all, we all want to be seen and heard and half the times we aren't. And there are women who were hiding forever throughout the whole program. And now they're talking and it's just like, oh my God, like, where is this voice come from? And it happened yesterday during our zoom. One of them, like Petra started talking and it was just, we like literally after she stopped, we were all silent and we were like, okay, this is like a moment of silence because she's wisdom. There's so much wisdom that comes out of her mouth. And to me, that's like what community is. And it's like, it, does it align with my values? Like I want them to challenge me, but I also want to challenge them. So yeah. to me, it's, you know, that I, you know, I see things, you know, we talk about like our power moves and people, you know, oh, I'm going to drink more water. No, that's what you should be doing already. That's, that's what I'm going to say. If someone tells me like, oh, I need to drink, I'm going to cut, I'm going to cut soda out. Well, actually what you should be doing is cutting sugar out. I'm always going to be that person. So it's like, to me, it's showing up as your most authentic self in every situation is really how you get to have people bring their walls down. That to me is what community is. It's a sisterhood. It's a sisterhood of friendships and you stay in touch with each other. Like I am always FaceTiming or messaging with my, with like my chosen family. We stay in touch all the time. And there's sometimes it's like seven, there's one day that two of them, we were on from, she one in Austria and the other one was in, in London. We were on the phone videoing for a good eight hours. Oh, oh my wow. <laughs> wow. And it was hysterical. And it was because I had nothing to do that day. It was a Saturday. And literally we were like delirious, but we didn't want to get off the phone with each other. And we literally for eight hours, we just video <laughs> We just FaceTimed with each other and it was the most fun that we've ever had. And that is like, that's the sisterhood. To yeah. me, so I, I take community and I bring it more into like, what is sisterhood? Mm. No, I like what you said. I think for me, like I've had some really like traumatizing experiences, I would say, like when it comes to like female friendships. So for me, like I'm one of those people that probably was a little bit more, I mean, I don't think I was a hider. I definitely showed up like and participated, but I definitely have more of a guard up. Like it's definitely harder for me to just go into a community and be super vulnerable because I, because of like, you know, doing that in the past and then it not being the right community where like I'm sharing with people where like, it's just not the right space. And I think one of the things that you and Natalia Z did so beautifully is like, you really welcome people in like, 
and I really felt supported and safe to be able to be more vulnerable. And I, like you, you kind of as a new person coming into the group this time, I really did feel, okay, this is a safe space. And I, and I, you know, and for, for me coming in, it was harder because I did come in guarded and, and I really felt like my walls dropped by the end of it. Cause I thought, okay, there are people out there that, that, you know, you can find that are really like supportive and will hold space for you and will support you and will not, you know, will show up. Like you, I think you kind of really like create, you really did take, I think a leadership role in the community and making so many people feel safe to share and be vulnerable. And I think, and you know, I think that's a real gift. Thank you. And it's because one of the, I will say one of the, my talents is I, I cultivate relationships and it's, it's always been who I am. I'm the person if, if I'm out with my friends at a bar and we meet a stranger, who's the one that's always talking to them. I am, I'm the one. So I, but I start asking questions. I dig and I dig and I dig because that's how you really get to know each other. I can sit here and talk about myself all day but I want to hear what you have to say. And I do that to Natalia Z all the time. I'm always like, tell us your story. Tell us your story. I want to know, I want to know what makes your heart beat faster. I want to know what makes you wake up in the morning. I want to know what brings tears to your eyes. Because to me, that's how people resonate. And that's how people, because vulnerability is contagious. Mm -hmm. And when you allow that, it, you allow that space for someone else to be vulnerable and it's okay to cry. Like to me, the wind blows and I'll start crying. It's just, it's, it's, you know, so it's allowing that space and just because if you come into a situation, a room, a, a community and you don't, and you have your guard up, you're only, you're the only one that's losing out. Mm -hmm. And it's also just taking a chance, taking a chance and like, you'll know it in your heart. If it, if it works or not. What do you think, Natalia Z? You've been very quiet. I'm going to get you to talk. <laughs> no, I agree with everything that you all say. And um, I also agree with, with the vulnerability, but also I am much better at asking questions than answering questions. Mm -hmm. So the whole community also teaches me to, to share and I share more and more for every time. But also it is a, such a process to like, you start and it's completely new and you're like blown away because all of this love and and like yeah just love from the community that, that you're getting uh, and then you can like with every round that you're doing you can be like more and more grounded and and it, it, it is it's it's such a deep transformation every single time mm -hmm. and like for me um community is um it's so much like it's all of that what you Cynthia said Cynthia A and it's all of that that you Cynthia F and, and Natalia said uh it is it was such a big difference for me when I could tell my dreams and actually don't mm. be judged about them because there are so many different people in the community and all of them have such a different dreams, but sharing my dreams with which can be so dumb and like so in, impossible for someone to happen for someone in community is like, oh, you can totally do it. Like that, that's a that's so easy. And for someone here, like people who I had, for example, here, uh, where I live now is like, oh, how are you going to do this? No, 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 no. Mm -hmm. Get your expectations down. And okay, like you don't, it's it's not good to have expectations, but like standards. Yeah. That's like the, my dreams are my standards. So why should I listen to someone who says, no, you cannot do it. When I have so many many people's telling me like you can totally do it and it makes such a difference because when you have people believing in you you can do anything like you can do anything and That's when true. you feel like people are believing in you like the things are just falling into place it's like a puzzles right and you work on yourself at the same time so it's like puzzle here next puzzle here it's like wow like the, this whole new world is opening up 
It's so, and you know, one of the the beauty about the UHPW community and because we're from all over the, literally all over the globe. With my, like part of my tribe, there's someone awake every time, like every 24 hours, there's always someone <laughs> awake. So it's like, we, we joke around. Like if I'm, if I go out, they're like, okay, Cynthia, let us know because if we have to bail you out, we'll send you money because we're we're up. It's now morning time for us. <laughs> it's like, you know what I mean? So it's like someone's always awake. I've had moments where I had was stressing out, I had anxiety, and then I just literally sent a text message to to some of the girls, and I was just literally just said SOS, and they all mm -hmm. came in and they're like, okay, what's going on? What's wrong? What do you what do you need? What do we need to do? How do we make this work? You know. And it's, it's a game changer that to me, just the level of friendships that I'm, I will have for the rest of my life. They're not going at like, it's, yeah, I can, yeah, yeah, I can't wait. I to think there's something so valuable in what you were saying, Cynthia, because before UHPW, when I think about community, right, I'm always being in the personal development space, you always think about your the combination of the five people you surround yourself and you always want you don't want to be the smarter person in the room you don't want to be the dumbest person in the room and there's all these rules or standards on how or what circles you should be or shouldn't be or you should surround yourself or not and what I love about a community like UHPW is you're surrounded by all of it and it's a, it's, it, you don't go to any of the extremes, right? In the past, I was looking at community selfishly on what is in for me if I join this community, right? I have dreams, I have goals. I need a community that helps me with my goals and my dreams, right? On the other stream, there are times where I feel like I always need to be the one that is serving the, the others, yeah. right? In that community. And I've, I've gone from one stream to another and I found myself in this UHPW community that I have it all, right? I have the opportunity to learn from others. I have an opportunity to connect with others that inspire me, that are there to tell me you can do it and I believe in you and push me when I am freaking out and I'm paralyzed. But I also have the opportunity to be vulnerable, very important. I think for me, that is huge in community that you can be truly yourself, that you can lower your guard, be vulnerable, show the good, the bad, the in between everything. And then you can serve, you always can serve. And, and I think all of you, I've seen you do that and it's so inspiring, right? And, and I think that's the beauty of a community. It's that it's all of it. When you look at a community just from one angle on what is in for me or what can I add to this community, you're missing the other half of the perspective. Yeah. Because it's not about, it's about giving. It's not about getting. And I think there is such a misconception and I see it in, I see it in, even in our community where there are, there are some who are takers and they're not givers. And to me, it's community is about give. It's about a give and take. It's just, I find I want nothing. I want nothing but to serve. I want nothing but to know that I touch someone's life. That fulfills me. That brings me joy. Well, and like, I hope you actually get a lot in return, even when you're not looking for it. You get even more than even if you were one thousand percent. I tell them all the time. Anytime during our Zoom, it's just like I am so inspired by everyone in this community and like and I it's helped me so much and you know where they'll tell me like Cynthia it's time for you to receive and you know and I'm like and I have such a hard time receiving and it's I really had to like check myself and be like okay like it's time to just say thank you like not just be thank you and be okay with just saying thank you yeah and that I was one of my that was one of my biggest lessons that I learned during this round I think We're one of the things though like as you were talking, it kind of triggered where I sort of realized this idea of trigger. giving that you kind of, for me, I feel like one of the things I've realized is the more work I do on myself and the more confident I get in my own body, like where I feel centered in my own soul, where I don't actually feel like I need anything from anybody. Like I feel really good about like where I'm at, 
like emotionally and physically, like I feel really grounded and safe and good in my own body that I'm able to give a lot more in a community now. Whereas like other times I try, like other times in my life previously where I hadn't been as grounded and confident in my own skin, I would probably need a little bit more because I wasn't there yet. And I like, so I think like, that's one of the things that I've learned. It's like, I can go in and kind of show up and play full out with community and friends now and really show up and be present for them and hold space a lot more than I was able to do in the past where, you know, like I'd, I'd have trouble holding the space, even though I wanted to, because I, I needed, I still needed so much. Like I had to fill my own cup up first, like before I think like, so I think that's one of the things like I noticed about the community, like that the folks that are really there to be able to like hold space and be present, like all of you ladies, like I feel also a lot of it is because we've all really done so much work on ourselves. So we're not coming at it from a place of needing to be filled, right? Like, I but think it's we're also, also sorry. No, but we're ahead. also able to, um, so when we had that, what is it, little cycle with the different areas of our lives, right? Mm -hmm. and we all, we had to rate ourselves and I'm sure even amongst us five, I'd probably be higher in one area and Cynthia F, you're higher in another. Cynthia yeah. A, you're higher in a different area. So our community, like, we kind of in a way balance each other or help each other in the areas that we're weaker mm. in, yeah. right? And that's what I feel like a, a community is too. Like when I'm staying inspiring, being inspired, it's kind of like, depending on what area we're at, we can help each other um, in those ways. Right. And I, I felt that a lot with our power fives that I had because I would discuss something and another one would say something else that maybe I didn't say, but I was like, oh, that was so exactly what I wanted to say. I didn't know how to say it or mm -hmm. that is where I want to be with that certain area. And it seemed like I couldn't get there, but having that different perspective was helpful. Mm -hmm perspective i think that is so important and yeah. even like in this community when, when where we actually have people from all over the world like even even people from like the other side of the world have another perspective just because they are in in other parts of the world and right. that is so valuable mm -hmm. yeah that's so true mm. now yeah. as people are listening to us they're like I want to be part of that community and we're going to put in the show notes of the podcast episode. How can you join the wait list for learning more about UHPW? And I did documented my whole journey on the first round of UHPW, but I have a question for all of you. If someone is listening right now and they're craving this, that they're hearing us talk about this community, the way we're describing it, how can you go about finding your community or building your community if you can find one? I think, you know, sometimes we're so fixated in finding the perfect group. Um, and sometimes you just need to take the first start, the first step and just start it, right? But where to start, whether it's finding or building a community, what would be your advice based on your own journey and your own experience on, on, on how to go about it? For me, it's asking myself questions. It's what's important to me. What mm -hmm. are my needs versus their needs? And I literally, it, I have like, I have like bullet points and cause that's just who I am. It's like, we're, it's like be of service to be of service to others. So it's not just, it's not just a take, take, take it's be your, be your fully authentic self because that is the only way people are going to really see who you are and how they're going to relate to you because it's being relatable. And because I can say something and someone, it may not resonate with someone else, but it will resonate with someone else. And like having that commonality amongst, amongst us, and you don't have to have the same things in common, but you have to be willing to learn. And that to me is to really think outside of the box, really color outside of the lines. And it's not so black and white. You know, there's, we're, we're in a room with different cultures, different ethnicities, different faiths and being respectful and being willing to learn. 
because that's mm-hmm. how you, and that's how you grow as a person. Mm-hmm. And don't like, if you are actually looking for a community and you find a community, but you're like, huh, I don't know if it's serving me, don't stay uh, where you don't grow because there are yes. a lot of communities Great where advice. you just judge other people. You just talk about other people instead of actually working on yourself and putting that time to yourself, to your heart, to your soul. So find actually a community where you actually can grow, which builds you up as you and not because you are talking bad about others or about something else. Yeah. I think that's, I think that's really critical. Like in other, and like when I think about communities that I've gotten a lot out of, it's always a community where I'm learning something, Mm -hmm. Um, whether it's a skill or like, it's about a topic or something. It's always something where I'm learning, learning something new. Um, like I'm in var- I'm involved in like an artist community and there's all different types of people there, but I'm always learning about some sort of new thing related to art and everything. So like, that's also like, I think, and you know, in this, in the UHPW group too, always learning something from the different folks in the community, as well as the, the content itself so I feel like that's an anchor that that seems to work whereas other groups where there it's just about like like happy hour or something like that it's like not enough it's not enough to anchor people on a deep level to be able to connect them you know like I feel like when it's about learning something that 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 has helped me I, I agree with you yeah I think, I think for mine- me also is about what are the things that you're passionate about that yeah. light you on fire and try yeah. to look communities around those things that excite you because then yeah. you're more likely to be active in that community. And I think a lot yeah. of times I've joined communities in the past because I was looking for community, not because it was revolving around something, you're something passionate that I'm about. passionate about or that I'm actively working on. And those times is when I've been most disappointed because I was not vested into that community. And when you're not vested and you're not giving it your all, then you end up giving up and saying it didn't work, but it wasn't about the community. It was that it, it, you just were not in the right group, right? And so I think for me, starting with something that you're passionate about, that you're curious about, that's something that is a priority for you that helps you to, to your point, right? Anchor you and, and be present and play full out because unless you play full out, you're not going to get where we were just talking about a few minutes ago. But I yeah. also think it's giving, we have, it's another, another layer is giving these communities a chance. Because if you're making a judgment within a week of joining a community, right. how it's do you, how do you, it's not going to work. So it's giving it a chance because it's almost like, it's so easy for people to say it didn't work. It didn't work, but like, look within yourself and like, did I really give it a chance? Like, let yeah. me engage. And the way to do it is to engage. Mm-hmm. And engage. did I do everything I could to make it work? Right. Or I just, I was just an expectator waiting for this to work for me exactly yeah. and it's like truly engaging and giving something a chance because otherwise it's then you'll never know you might have left the community that would have been with you for the rest of your life yes playful yeah. out wherever you are mm-hmm. yeah playful out i totally agree with that yeah natalia yeah. p i think you are gonna say something no i mean I liked what you said better because I was going to say if you want to start easy, an easy way to go in is common interests. Yeah. But I like how you said something you're passionate about. For myself, um, I started off with a brokerage and what I loved about them when I went in the first time for an interview is they started talking about a lot of authors that I had already read, self-development stuff, leadership stuff. So that won me really quick to join that brokerage. Um, I started off with one office. It worked out really well. But then like the vibe started changing, people started leaving and I got introduced to um, one of the ladies that was in my, my previous brokerage office. She moved to another location. I stayed in touch with her 
And she started inviting me to the other office. And it was kind of the same thing. Like I started feeling that inspiration again, like people I could connect with, uh, talk about certain things with that I couldn't talk with at the other office. And then because of that, I was introduced to a new set of people who then introduced me to Tony Robbins, you know, and then here I am with you guys. So I feel like the easiest way is to start small with common interests. And then from there, I feel like it kind of builds on itself because you're going to find people within that small common interest area and you're going to build from there. Yeah, I totally agree with you. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. I just awesome. go full in. I just go full in. I just, what, what's the worst that can happen? Mm. I agree. And I think that is such a powerful question, Cynthia, because a lot of times we think about all the things that can go wrong, all the things that other people can judge us for, you know, all the, well, all the things that can go wrong instead of asking us what could go right if I go all in, if I yeah. give it my all, what would be the best case scenario? Uh -huh. and, and I think that that creates that compelling vision that inspires you and motivates you to go and play full out. And when you play full out, I think then it's when the magic starts to happen. Oh yeah. my God, totally. I, I, I listen, I'm not, I'm not shy. So it's, it's, I just go all in, in anything that I do, I go all in and it's whatever happens, happens. You know, if I, if I lived my life worried about what other people thought about me, I wouldn't be where I'm at right now. And, you know, it's, I live my life for me. There's only, there's only one me. So it's, and I mean, and I wasn't always like this, but it's, I probably have been like this for the past, like, oh my God, maybe like five or six years, but probably more even now that it's, I'm softer. I don't have, I, have, I don't have walls up. I'm definitely a lot softer and it's love. It's kind of like, I look at every, I look at everyone through the lens of love. And there are times I even look at everyone as if they have had trauma. Because when you think of it that way, you, 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 you're coming from a different place. You're coming from a place of love and you're not coming from a place of judgment. So. Well, before we close out, I just want to, does anyone want to make any final remarks on this topic of community and, and maybe one of you, I'm going to leave that to you, Cynthia A, to close us with the UHPW community and how can someone after listening to us five crazy ladies talking about our great experience with UHPW, how can someone join this amazing community? But before that, does anyone have any final thoughts? Anything that we didn't talk about that, gosh, if someone is listening, they should hear about community. I would just say that if somebody's struggling to find a community that it is out there and not to lose hope that just to keep going and keep, keep the faith and keep trying that it just means you haven't found the right community yet that, but that there, there is, there is community out there. And if and your tribe is out there, you just need to find oh. it. And I think when you are yeah. authentically yourself, you are going to attract your tribe. And I have heard this so many times, right? But then if you keep your guard up to what we were talking about before, you're never going to find the right community because you're not matching what you're looking for. You're looking something that matches your true self, but you're showing up as someone else. And then you're mm -hmm. never going to find that perfect community. No, it's true. So if you're, if you're looking for a community of women and men, and you're looking to be around people who are like-minded and who are on the same journey as you, and you are open to learning about new cultures, new, new everything, UHPW, Unleash Your Power Within, is, it's the secret sauce. It's the, it's the, it's the whipped cream on all the programs that are out there, and it's where there is, it's a sisterhood. And you are amongst people who truly come from an open heart and, and you, it's unleash your power within is about coming home to who you truly are as a woman mm -hmm. and being able to look at yourself in the mirror and just say like, like, I got you. 
I got you. Mm-hmm. That's and we all got you thing. in the community as well. Yep. Yeah. This is, that's, you know, UHPW forever. It's just, it's the power, it's the power of, of community. It's mm-hmm. so strong here. And if anyone listening wants to do Unleash Their Power Within with Tony Robbins, do it with Unleash Her Power Within. Mm-hmm. Oh, totally different experience, right? Yeah, like, yeah very it much. It is totally different. Mm. I know KK, our guide in this amazing journey, always says is like wine and cheese, right? They're amazing by themselves, but when you combine them, it's like the perfect recipe. And yeah, I think really UHPW is. and UPW is the same. Like when they go together, it takes the experience to a whole different level. Oh. 1000%. It's a, it's a game changer, but you have to play full out. You can't sit back. That's the only way. Then it's just a program you don't finish. So it's like well, literally playing full out. I think it's like everything, right? You get out what you put in. 100%. So that's why even like, and I know that Natalie P probably has to go, but that's why when people say, I want to do it virtually, I want to do it live. Doing it live is the same thing as doing it virtually. You're going to get what you, what you put into it is what you're going to get out of it. And I think doing it virtually for me also, like changed my whole paradigm, right? I did not thought that it was possible to find the sisterhood that I had found in this community virtually. Yeah, I always true. thought that I had to be face-to-face, that we couldn't develop the in-depth friendships virtually the way that I have experienced in this year. And it's amazing. So even if not being able to be there in person is your excuse not to do it, don't let that be your excuse. If you play full out, you can get a ton out of it, even if it's virtual. Mm. So true. It's a game changer. It's just, just be yourself. Just be open, be open to new ideas, new ways of thinking, and be okay with being challenged because there's a reason why we're challenged and all these exercises that we have to do and the homework that we have to do, there's a reason why. So. Yes. Well, everyone, thank you so much. This has been amazing as always. Every time that I connect with you, it's amazing. And I'm just so grateful that I've had had the opportunity to cross paths with all of you and find community in this UHPW family. Thank you so much for being here. For having us. Thanks so much. Thank you for having us. Yes, thank you so much.